Mattress girl. Some feminists to this day, they still believe she's telling the truth. Yeah. There were text messages, Facebook messages <laughs> from Mattress Girl showing that it was a lie. Uh, which of the most famous, which of the famous rape hoaxes would you say sticks out in your mind as the most egregious? We want to get into this here today after Kavanaugh, uh, yeah. because the same thing comes, the same phrase comes up all the time. Every single yeah, time there's a rape accusation, right? What do we always hear? We hear, well, why would, the, why would the woman lie? You know, we need to believe, it's just another way of saying it, believe yeah. survivors. It's, why would this woman lie? Why would the woman lie about rape? Why, why would she, okay, you know why? Because people lie. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> people lie. And as we'll show you, people lie for all kinds of reasons. Sometimes for personal gain, for fame, notoriety, political gain, to harm an enemy, to get on the cover of magazine. I have no pe Some people have grown tits to get on the covers of magazines. <laughs> <laughs> people lie all the time. That's not an argument. With the first day of Kavanaugh, remember right before this, this, this happens yeah. all the time. They were th threatening, if he, if he was confirmed, some threatened uh, social media blackouts. I don't know yeah. how that I don't know what that anything. even means. Yeah. Some yeah. threatened yeah. to move to Canada. Remember Again. that? And yeah. then the, the rest of us were just, I mean, they, we don't care. Please move. I'll do it. I swear I'll do it. I'll do it. If that rapist gets confirmed, I swear I'll do it. Oh my God! <laughs> oh jeez! Yeah, we should. Yeah, that's uh, a. Yeah, that's... Seems like we should. That's depression right yeah, there. Cut on, you should cut on that sooner. We shouldn't. Yeah, we should have going on that long. Earlier than him. You act the word Especially I dress pretty good. <laughs> I don't. It goes with I don't even know what you're talking about. That wasn't me. <laughs> All right, top five rape hoaxes uh, yep. that I would listen. I would love to see yours comment below. Uh, number five that sticks out in my mind is uh, the Rolling Stone UVA scandal. Yeah. Do you remember this yep. one? Where they wrote uh, in Rolling Stone, they wrote an article about the supposed gang rape at University of Virginia, and it, and it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Did, you, did no. you guys hear about this story? <laughs> I remember no. that it even yeah, had one, uh, uh, what's his name? Virginia, Ed, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. Ed, Ed Helms was speaking at their, uh, did a commencement, yeah. and he had to yeah. mention it because it was so awkward at that point. Rolling mm -hmm. Stone actually was forced to issue a complete retraction. But don't take oh, my word yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah. Rolling Stone's managing editor published a note today about discrepancies in the victim's story. He wrote, quote, we have come to the conclusion that our trust in her was misplaced. And by discrepancies, by the mean, uh, they mean lies. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They mean outright lies, like yeah, discrepancies. Sure. Yeah, the, I hope he lost his job, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He's probably working know, in the yeah. he's probably working in the foodie section somewhere. <laughs> they, they said they said he just they just had confirmation bias, and that was their problem. There. Yeah, like, confirmation yeah, bias. Yeah, you went in looking oh, yeah, for sure. a story, obviously. And you looked at everything that supports. Listen, it else. <laughs> who among us doesn't have a bias and hasn't mm -hmm. entirely destroyed a man's life with entirely fabricated false rape accusations? <laughs> right, question. but it happens. Uh, number oh four, this is one. I don't even know what to call it, but it was really big. The, the Texas teen gang rape. This is not, uh, sorry, number four. Did I say number one? I don't know. Uh, no, I, said, no, I think you said four. Uh, it was a, the, her name was I think it was Brianna Talbot. Talbot, yeah, yeah. Uh, she remember she broke into a church, body bloodied, screamed that three black men had raped her. So you know right sorry, away there. Sounds that was, correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The whole town the story holds up. turmoil. The story holds up. And two of them were twins. They had bulging biceps, and they kept talking about white man beer. I'm sorry, I'm guilty. I couldn't control myself. <laughs> Here's the thing, the medical team found not only no evidence of sexual assault, they also found problems with the story, and then the team confessed that she had entirely made it all up. Yeah. The wounds were self-inflicted. That's why I think this is one of the most, this is one of the worst offenses, because she took time to hurt herself and burst into a church. Wow. Which means, again, there's gotta be one, you know, you've, we've talked about how victim culture, people go, well, why would they lie? Why would anyone wanna be black in America? Why would anyone wanna be a victim of sexual assault? I'm not saying anyone actually wants to be the physical victim of sexual assault, right. but why would someone want to claim that publicly? Well, ask this person why they would go through the effort of physically harming themselves because they thought they would get such a leg up by accusing three yeah. random black yeah. men of rape. There is something to be said for it, even if it's just a crazy person who wants notoriety. Yeah. So yeah. why would she lie? Right. She likes it rough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know herself. About man, you're looking for it, too. That's all. She just punched herself with it. You just, oh, you know, so she, mute, she, she actually damaged her? I, no, 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 not her. I mean, she just, you know, she the, the things that they could see in the bloody. church. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, you know, she probably, like, scraped her knees with some sandpaper. Well, you know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Like uh, yeah. Hey, by the way, hit the notification bell uh, if you're subscribed to the channel on YouTube, because apparently that doesn't mean anything anymore. So, uh, notification bell. And join Mug Club, of course, to get the da daily show every single day. Uh, yeah. for, uh, not for free, but you join Mug Club and uh, Thursday free show. Uh, number three, the Duke lacrosse hoax. Oh, my gosh. This is the worst Please. for me. 
You black, oh, you black guys yeah. can't get away from these. It really is. Like, it's it's just a, that. like, Clarence Thomas. No, the black guy, huh? It really is. It's effective. No. You know what it is? It's a modern-day lynching through public opinion. Yeah. And the people doing it lynch are rich mob. white liberals. Yeah. yeah. Lynch mob. This was with the team, right? The college team? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This was, yes, yeah. the lacrosse team. They hired a stripper for a party, I think. Yeah. Uh, that idea. The stripper <laughs> accused of lacrosse players of rape. What, what, were, they, were they black One of the strippers was black. No, 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 no. The stripper was black. The stripper was black. It was a white guys. Yes. It was a pretty much all-white team, lacrosse team. They were ranked number one in the nation. Their season was canceled and all of this, too. Yes. You should have never got a black stripper. Done. (laughs) (laughs) I'll throw the clip. Carolina's attorney general will dismiss all charges against the three young men. Well, that seems Mm. pretty cut and dry. Yeah. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, this was like a year after. By the way, a lot of people don't know this, you know, because you don't follow up on these stories. The the hoaxer was later convicted of stabbing her boyfriend to death. So, yeah, 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 you know, you thought you got away from the stereotype for a second there. (laughs) Boom. Right back into it. You know what they say? Hindsight is 20, not rape. Um, number two, uh, mattress girl. Ugh. By the way, some feminists to this day, they still believe she's telling the truth yeah, about her rape. Yes. No. What's the story of the, the, the pumpkin head who still carries his lantern around oh, to, yeah, to, to yeah. throughout the Ichabod Crane. Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. It's still, That's a headless still horseman. What? Sleepy Hollow. That's a headless horseman. That's a headless horseman. I don't know what the legend. The point is, they oh, still think she's lugging her mattress around to this day as a victim of rape. We have, there were text messages, Facebook messages <laughs> from Mattress Girl showing that it was a lie. Here's a clip. She <laughs> began carrying this mattress around as an art project and putting his name attached to the whole Can story you that? Oh, time yeah. and time this again. It garnered worldwide attention, oh my got her a ton of, she was on the cover of New York Times Magazine. Ugh, None gets her says that yeah. she ruined his All name right. and his That's reputation careful. and robbed him of his right to an education. Here. Columbia now agrees with him. And in a reverse Title IX decision, they have offered him a settlement. Why would she lie? Right. Yeah. This girl, she didn't, she didn't quite beat herself up, liar, liar style, and going to a church. She just lugged a mattress around campus for an entire semester. By the way, go read the texts. They're yeah. graphic. It's, wow. They're worse than penthouse letters. <laughs> The dedication. Not you've ever read any of those. Yeah, she wanted it, huh? <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was, it was one of those things. And actually, there's a lot of, if you read the text, it seemed like she was mad that he wasn't interested in her. It was like, really? This, I yeah. Got, yeah, this is getting pretty crazy. Golly, well, here's broken. the thing. Does anyone know this? I've talked with, we've had people on the show. I think it was Mark Duplass and yeah. Michael Ian Black, where they met. And I'm like, no, no, wait. Yeah, no idea. Mattress Girl. Yeah. I'm like, no, Mattress Girl's a lie. I'm like, oh, uh, I'm not. Are you sure about that? <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, I'm absolutely sure. Some of them are aware. It's like, well, hold on a second. Duke, no, Duke Lacrosse was a lie. It was completely overturned. Uh, are you sure about that? Yes! Yes, they're doing the same thing with Kavanaugh now. Do you realize five years yeah. from now we'll be talking about Dr. Christine Ford? <laughs> talking about her? We'll still be talking, we'll be like, yeah, hey, remember that? Just like Clarence Thomas. Yeah. yeah. This oh, well, the yeah. mattress girl was really think about this though. The guy's never gonna get his name back. No, yeah. no. The first thing that guy's gonna apply for a job, they're gonna run a search. The first thing that's going to <laughs> exactly. pop up is not going to be, oh, declared innocent. It's going to be this girl carried a mattress around with your name at Columbia right. for a year because you raped her. You're not getting a call back. Yeah, no, it's yeah. time to change your name at that point. Yeah, it's time to change your just name. Just go to the judge. What kind of mattress is that? Air mattress? <laughs> <laughs> Looks yeah, pretty like me. Look I think we're giving her too much credit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there you go. She wasn't that committed. She wasn't carrying it. That, you know no, what? You want us true. to believe you? Yeah. Carry a Serta. Okay. Number one, the worst hoax to me, and you may not have heard of this, is Emmett Till. We have a clip. More than 60 years ago, Emmett Till oh, look, was abducted MCC. and murdered by two men Dang. after a woman claimed that Emmett Till, who was 14 years old, oh, oh, whistled at her and grabbed her. Well, Till's mother held an open geez. casket funeral to show the world the brutality of her son's killing. The two men were acquitted but later confessed to killing Till. And in a book published last year by Tim Tyson, the woman at the center of that case, Carolyn Bryant Donham, admitted she exaggerated Ew. part of her testimony. First off, this is why oh, I hate cable gosh. news because he has to read that story and go, <laughs> yeah. and in a book published, <laughs> in a book published, like, we'll just, what's just, the point of just that, treat anyway? this as though it's a real story? This yeah. one's not even rape. It was just an accusation of. Of yeah. whistling. Yeah. Whistling, yeah. 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 Whistling with intent, though. Whistling with <laughs> intent. That's actually really important to note, by the way. Yeah. For people who don't know, it was Trump's DOJ yeah. that reopened the Emmett Till case. Yes. Yeah. To get justice yeah. for them. The guy who hates black guys. Right, yeah. yeah. The guy yeah. who hates black guys is the one. He was when we talk about, ah, well, justice for Trayvon. Yeah. Oh, okay, we understand. Justice for, was it Tamir Rice? Okay. Yeah. Justice for uh, Mike, Mike Brown. Hands up, don't you? Well, actually, he was more like punching cop in the face, reaching yeah. for his gun, yeah. so the yeah. cop shot. But here, you actually have somebody who's completely yes. innocent who was accused by a lynch mob of whistling. <laughs> Trump real, yes. not a peep. What yeah. about justice for Emmett Till? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Y'all remember what Obama said about Trayvon? Yeah. If I had a son, he would look like Trayvon. That's because he'd be a shitty dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> if I had a son, he'd be ma uh, you. If if I had a son, you 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 can bet your ass he'd be making purple drink uh, along with everyone else. That's what he was doing. That <laughs> yeah, day. I'm like, it's cool, no, but what you gonna do for Trayvon, man? <laughs> yeah. uh, by the way, bonus rape hoax: the J Julie Swetnick, the gang rape Ooh, train, the, bonus. The, the, the train. <laughs> this is one. A lot bonus. of the thing. You know Julie Swetnick? Minute, right? Yeah, that's the second. Uh, Lady that came out right against yeah. Kavanaugh. No, wasn't she the third? I think it, the, the, there was there was one with no name, right? I mixed so I think no name. Yeah. Yeah. They all a bunch of liars anyway. <laughs> That's what it was. It was the yeah, lady was, with no name. Uh, this is after Christine Ford. And yeah, it was, De it was Deborah Ramirez. Yeah, it was yeah, Christine yeah, yeah. Ford, Deborah Ramirez. It's just so hard to keep yeah. straight. I was like, well, was Santa Maria uh, Cortez. Santa Cortez in there? <laughs> Are you praying? No, no, no. <laughs> I always forget Santa her first Maria. name. <laughs> Nina Pinta Santa Maria Cortez. You know, there the you socialist go. who wants to nationalize yeah. all health care. Oh, Jesus. Well, you know what? It's good for you guys because we'll be paying for your sickle cell. <laughs> um, so after. That was a bad. That was a good That's a low blow, man. That's a low blow, man. <laughs> it's better what they say so me. after that creepy porn lawyer Michael Avenetti pushed the uh, Julie Swetnick uh, narrative forward who accused Kavanaugh of I, mean, I don't know other, like gang rape parties it's, yeah. uh, here's a clip there? the allegations from Julie Swetnick who alleged in a signed affidavit she attended well over 10 parties where she saw Judge Brett Kavanaugh then in high school drink excessively at many of these parties and engage in abusive and physically aggressive behavior towards girls First off, a couple of things. Now it makes sense to say uh, drank so much. You guys said you don't really drink that often. Yeah. That's why Cory Booker was asking Kavanaugh, do you drink on weekdays? Because like, is that maybe to a black person that's like, oh, he's a drunk. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> From that testimony, I think Kavanaugh's an alpha male. <laughs> <laughs> why would you keep going if every weekend right? it was getting drunk and that's just what I'm well saying. over 10 like, parties? Sense. Well, you, you know this is so funny. So three? this came out, and if you look, there was a Swetnick story, right? Yeah. She came forward, <laughs> and she said, I can't believe that I was discredited when I was brave and I stepped forward. And, and now, actually, the claims were so outlandish Landish because I wanted to focus on Ford, but this was treated entirely legitimately, yeah. by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like right. we talked about, it, it, the, the news was released at 7, everyone ran with it, and then it was dead before Lawrence O'Donnell could broadcast his menstrual camps. Like, it was that <laughs> it was that quick. <laughs> but now, the left is accusing Avenetti of being a plant from Donald Trump to try and discredit the real accusers of Kavanaugh. They're like, we don't want it to be lumped in with the one who said gang rape train. It's clear <laughs> Avenetti, Trump put him there to make us seem like we lie. That's a deep conspiracy right That's there. That's a really deep conspiracy. <laughs> that goes deep. I mean, you have to believe Trump is brilliant. You have to believe yeah. Trump is so brilliant that he'd, he'd be so smart that he could hire someone as stupid as Avenetti. Yeah. <laughs> Like, Wait, that's the thing. And trust to... him to carry the lie. <laughs> it's just yeah, this like, is, difficult. This, we're talking about, why does this matter? <laughs> Someone just said the other day, you don't know what it's like as a woman right now to be yeah. scared. You know what? Men are terrified right now. Yeah, especially me. <laughs> I thought I was safe. What? <laughs> why? Don't, especially I don't know. I don't care. I don't know what that means. That's going straight to air. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Men are terrified right now. No, the truth is, think about this. Yeah. Women, I, I listen, no one wants you to be raped. Do you have any do you have any idea how terrible a crime rape is? Rapists. Get raped in prison, ironically, on principle. Yeah. Because yeah. they're hated. Child molesters and rapists do not fare well in prison. No. Amongst criminals, they're hated because we consider it a bad crime. No one likes rape, even the arsonists, okay? The serial killers <laughs> think that rapists are beneath them. No one likes rape. That being said, it is terrifying to be a man today because yeah. guess what? When people say, why would a woman ever lie? Because people lie! Women lie about their weight all the time. Women lie about <laughs> whether they've had work done. So do yeah, men. It's right. like, there's, a, there's, a, there's a ton of different reasons for lying. It's like They're a kid human. right now, these women coming forward with rape, yeah. like uh, Julie Swetnick. It's like the kid who figured out you get a cookie by lying. You know, okay, <laughs> did you did you already have a cookie today after you cleaned your room? No. <laughs> Here's another one. Rape. Well, I guess you better take all the cookies. Geez, you've had a rough childhood, kid. That's what happens. People lie because they have something to gain from the lie. Again, publicity, no, it doesn't really matter. Usually to Get some free crap. That's what it is. And, and yeah, we, ninety percent of women's faces are lies. <laughs> Take that makeup, like who the hell are you? Hey, that's a, this sounds like a deep wound that you need to get out a little bit, right? Have you been tricked? Before? Have you ever went to sleep? Said, man, she's hot. That was awesome. Wake up. Oh my god! <laughs> it's for <Porter> black carrot. <laughs> I thought you hung yourself. The, the worst. Man. The worst part about this is that we we want to believe you. We really. You just said it. Right. Rape yeah. is bad. Universally, it's bad. We want to yeah. believe you. Can you please just give us some proof? That's all we're asking. And, and this is the thing. Look, liars. Think about kids, right? You guys have kids. Yeah. The worst part is an enabler of lies. That's the real problem with yeah. grandparents sometimes, right? Grandparents oh, yeah. are like, just don't. If your Let's parents see. ask, if you, if we gave you so many sweets, just say no. say no. And so then what you have. Here is like you have you have a woman who comes forward and potentially lies. I don't know about I don't know about uh, about what's her name Ford, uh, Do yeah. Doctor Christy Ford, <laughs> Doctor Christy Ford. You, you give out good oh, doctors. Oh, she's a liar. Um, I, I have no idea. I, uh, allegedly. Uh. 
But uh, you have this lie from a woman, and then you have a lie from a Michael Avenetti or, I don't know, a Gloria Allred, or whatever. So now you've got two lies. Then you have a political ally like Feinstein who jumps on board. Now there are three lies. So you've got this, this sort of amalgamation. It's, it's, this, it's all of these different lies into a super lie. It's like when the Power Rangers became the Megazord only with lies. It's the Megazord of lies. <laughs> The, here's the point is, I don't even know what that, the point is that this is the lying from all sides of the political spectrum and yeah. or the gender binary. So political spectrum, yeah. gender, binary. There you go. Comment <laughs> away. I, I want to see that bee's nest right, right now. Yeah. Uh, it's been going on since the dawn of mankind. And the problem that everyone has here, and I, people talk about how we're divided, uh, and I've seen even some people on the right go, well, maybe at this point there'd be some time for healing. Do you think you would want any healing? Do you think you would want to unite with someone who falsely accused you of rape? Just like I don't expect a woman to want to hold hands and sing We Are the World with a guy who ran a train on her. I don't assume that the guy who was accused of running a train on a woman is going to want to unite with her. That's silly. Instead of talking about unity, instead of talking about finding common ground on this, let's talk about the truth. And it happens every few months. It happens every year or so. And then what just happens when the truth comes out, we forget about it. We just go, oh, Duke Lacrosse. And it turns out, no, she stabbed her boyfriend. Well, you know what? We've moved on from that story. It's going to be the same thing with Brett Kavanaugh. Why? Because it's as simple as this. People lie. Our entire legal system is be it's predicated on the, this idea that human beings lie, and we have to safeguard against it. And we want to throw that away. What, for Gloria Allred? No! People lie, including you. Hey there, YouTube viewer. If you like this video, watch one of my other videos. Oh! It's playing in one of those boxes. Uh, I'd say subscribe or hit the notification bell, but I don't really know what that means in today's day and age on YouTube. But if you join at louderwithcrowder.com slash mug club, you won't only see clips, you'll get to watch the full daily one hour show every single day and support our content, making sure that we can still get clips up here on YouTube for the freeloaders who can't afford it and or are just cheap pricks.